So my name is Peter Zakarian. I'm the chef at the West Coast Tavern. I've been here since July of this year. The location that we're in is one of the most famous theaters in San Diego. I don't really know what to describe, how to describe our cuisine style other than it's really fun. Um, shared plates and we do sort of creative spins on bar food which is meant to be playful and meant to be shared and uh, meant to be good while you're drinking upscale liquors and, and beers. The pans here, Alaskan King Salmon. Uh, this is fresh, fully sustainable farm, uh, non-farm salmon. And the, we're serving it with a black currant and grilled onion risotto cake. And the sauce for this dish is a tomato confit. So right now I'm going to sear the salmon and also keep the risotto cake. The reason for doing the cake is during service, it's a lot easier to prepare a dish like this with the uh, with the cake preformed so that the cooks during service aren't having to heat it um, individually. They're, they're able to just heat them individually and finish them in the oven and so they're super nice and hot and melted inside without having to have them in the steam table so their the risotto can be at its maximum freshness as well as the fish. Season our salmon. So I got into food service, into cooking and being a chef and all that. When uh, I realized I wasn't going to be a professional musician, seemed I was always a good cook, and it's the only other thing that satisfies both my nature, my my need to create, and my also need to make money and all that kind of stuff. Um, the key to searing fish properly is you have to have your pan very very hot. The purpose for sealing fish, for searing fish, is to uh, is to sear in the flavor. And the, and the moisture that's inside of the inside of the fish, so that it doesn't dry out, and, uh, and it also gives a nice, that nice brown color. And I really enjoy the whole dynamic of working in a kitchen. Um, but I, I and I've tried other jobs, and just eight hours in any other position is, feels like an eternity to me, and twelve hours in the kitchen just feels like a regular day of work. So uh, I guess that's why I stay in the business. Is, the satisfaction I get from the actual job. Before we sear the fish, I sear both sides of the risotto cake, put it in the oven to get it hot, and by that time, your pan is probably hot enough to sear fish properly. So anyways, now we'll sear the salmon. You want to let that cook for about two minutes per side, and you don't want to disturb it too much. That's another way to get a nice sear, is once you put the fish in the pan with the oil, let it sit, don't play with it, resist the temptation to play with your food. That's for later. The quality of the ingredients is what drives my passion for food. Um, if you start with really quality ingredients, it's pretty hard to make bad food. You know, quality ingredients coupled with proper tech, cooking technique, and you're going to have a pretty good meal. You know, like in France, the reason why the bread's so good is because you walk across the street and you get your bread fresh every day. You know, the reason why the cheese is so amazing is because you, you know, your cheese is made by a guy that you, your family's known for a hundred years, and that's right down the other street, the other direction, and you're getting that fresh every day. So, so while I'm doing that, I'll toss my microgreen salad. This is primarily as a garnish, but it's also part of the flavor component of the meal. This is uh, micro arugula and micro cilantro from a uh, specialty produce. And so I'm tossing with a little bit of the juice from the, uh, from the salmon. That we will spit from the sauce for the salmon that we will sear the salmon with once it's done. And then, what's in the? Uh, do you make this tomato confit? The tomato confit is an aged sherry vinegar, a finely brewed wad shallot and chive, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of, of olive oil. It's a very very simple dish. The the, the acidity offsets the fish perfectly with it from the tomatoes. And the tomatoes as they the reason why it's called a confit it's sort of in its it's it's in its own juices. So as those tomatoes break down into the sauce you can really taste the, the juice from the tomato itself. And that's part of the uh, that's part of why this is such a good compliment for fish. The biggest bit of advice I would give a, a give an aspiring chef is uh, just pay attention. Keep your keep your keep your eyes open and your mouth closed as much as possible. And you know, I, I can train, I can teach almost anyone how to cook. I can't train work ethic and I can't train hard work. As long as I got those two things and you can show that on a day-to-day -day basis, you probably go pretty far in, in most professional chef's kitchen. So we got a nice brown on the salmon. That's from getting your, your pan hot enough. And now I will finish this in the oven. And we wait. 
I think the accomplishment I'm the most proud of is I feel comfortable cooking in any setting, hotel, resort, banquets, menu design, kitchen design, name it, I feel comfortable doing it. And I think that's the thing I feel the most proud of is I have the diversity of what I'm capable of. And so we start this dish with a bed of, this is fresh spinach. Um, the, heat from the, the heat from the dish will wilt the spinach as we plate it. So there's no need to ha use a second saute pan to wilt your spinach. You just do it all in the same dish and the heat from the fish and the risotto and the sauce will actually, do the, will actually wilt the spinach. So that's the first part of the assembling of the dish. We grab our risotto cake. Uh, I would be a rutabaga because I've always wanted to have purple hair. This goes in the center of the dish. And the reason we form these risotto cakes as well is so that they can hold the weight of the fish and so it balances on top. And we grab our salmon. Loosen it up to the pan a little. And we'll just place this right on top. Now I'll save, I'll use my same saute pan. And this is called deglazing. This is to get the flavor of the salmon off of the dish. And this is also to heat up this saves a little time in the kitchen because you're using the same pan and it also gets more flavor into the sauce because you get the flavor of the fish and it, and it heats your sauce immediately so your sauce can be as fresh as possible. So that's it for the sauce. It's nice and hot. It's reduced down a little bit and this just goes directly over the top of the fish and this again also helps wilt the spinach underneath. We'll use a little microgreen salad. This is our garnish on the top. Finish with a little bit of, this is a homemade chili oil. It's very, very mildly spicy. And there you have it. That's a new signature dish for West Coast Tavern.